Hey everybody, welcome back to Resident Evil 7. Last episode we fought uh, uh, Jack, the boss, or the dad again. Uh, this time I think it's the last time. And we uh, we rescued Mia. Nathan? Thank you. Who the hell else was I gonna choose? Ethan. <sighs> Mia, I know you've been through a lot. We need to talk. Are we breaking up now? You had something to do with all this, didn't you? Look, I just want to know the truth. Ethan, I honestly don't remember. Try. <laughs> oh, shit. Is that the boat? How the fuck did that get here? Oh, shit. I bet there's a bunch of really okay? fun stuff in there. The hell was that? What the fuck? What is that? What is that? Cool. Mommy. Oh god, no. This way. <laughs> no little kid voices. Everybody, welcome to PT. Oh shit, am I playing as her? Oh fuck, I am. Uh, like an achievement called "Better Start Running." Strange bottle. Strange bottle that's found in your pocket after waking up at the Baker Estate. It's probably important. Let's go and drink it. E001. That was written down on a on a picture earlier. Oh. I guess they didn't animate feet and stuff for her. So Jack said that Ethan is part of the family now. Oh. Oh. So is he dead now? Like... Like, is he... Am I, is Mia the main character now? Like, whoever you pick to rescue, or they... I wonder if they become, like, the main. That'd be, that'd be a really interesting way to do it, is like kill off the first main character. This looks fucking awesome. I can't imagine playing this in VR, honestly. A, because it seems like that'd be really, really hard. And two, because it'd be fucking terrifying. Like, I brightened the gameplay up a little bit, so you guys can see it better. But like playing like I don't know, it's it's so dark and so like intimidating right now. <laughs> I love it. Like they've nailed the atmosphere. I think this has been great. Uh I got a few comments being like Uh-huh. What was that? I got a few people being like, it was fun for like the first 30 minutes, but, you know, now I'm over it. But that's fine, I get it. Like, a lot of people don't like the, the, the gameplay and tonal change of this one compared to the other ones. And also because, like, they're good at doing a lot of body horror. Like, they're trying really hard. Yeah. It's like, I don't blame them. But it seems like everybody's super... Hi guys. Excuse me. Seems like everybody's been really excited about this series. I've got a lot of like super nice tweets being like, you know, this this series has been great. Which I appreciate. Thank you guys. If you don't follow me on Twitter, you should. At Mr. Craven. And on Instagram. Hey, 
Ahí. Who killed them all? Uh, maybe this belonged to the crew. Really? Not not the molded monsters? <laughs> Very astute of you. Uh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, social media stuff. At Mr. Craven is my Twitter. And my Instagram. You guys should totally follow me. That would be rad. <coughs> so I wonder how this all links back to Umbrella. Because like back in the demo, there was a picture of the Umbrella helicopter flying over the property. So I wonder if, like, they are watching what's happening here to see, like, how it could spread or something. I also wonder if anybody from the main games is gonna... If you know the answer, then don't say anything. But I wonder if anybody from the main games... Hey. She's not my child. Must have been hiding from something. I wonder if the little girl killed everybody. Uh, crew register, Captain Ed Curley, Chief Engineer Paul Fitzgerald, uh, First Officer Giovanni Finetti, Second Officer Clark C. Walsh, uh, Mechanic Dwayne Col Chal Chal Chalmers, uh, Communications Technician Jim, Stock uh, Jim Stockman, Physician uh, Gerald Waddell. Okay, cool. Like, part of me wants to see, like, Leon or Ada or Chris or, like, she's inside me. She's inside everyone. Part of me wants to see them pop up. Then, like, another part of me is just like, no, I think that this should be... I think this should be the start of something new. I kind of wish that this has been, like, a reboot instead of Resident Evil 7. Like, instead of having this be part of, like, the numbered series, make this something completely different. I don't know. I might be... LNG Tanker, Annabelle, Built 1987, Deadweight, Tonnage, 71, okay. Uh, Link, okay. What, what would you guys think about that? If this is, like, a reboot, and they were just done with Chris Redfield... Settle down, little girl. Settle down. Ah! Are you remembering? What? What are you? <laughs> You're creepy as shit, aren't you? Yeah, I think that after six, when it was like a everybody gets together team fight, I think that starting over from scratch would be a great way to go. That might just be me though. A lot of people don't want change or reboots or, or I don't know, anything like that. So I'm curious what you guys think. Hey buddy. All this like gross like standing water with like black ooze in it and dead bodies. I bet that smells awful. You said we could be a family. Ooh. What are you talking about? You said. Wait. I'm tired of your waiting. You are a butthole. Okay. Ah, pause. All right, I'm back. My friend Sino is back.
Uh, today's his last day here. I uh, saw John and his girlfriend, wished them farewell. And now, let's go back to being utterly terrified of what's happening. I won't say utterly terrified, more... <laughs> nope. Nope. I definitely won't say terrified. There's only been a few moments where I've been like legitimately like <gasps> about everything. Uh, I would say I, this is more tense or like suspenseful. I guess. Then again, I don't know. Resident Evil's always been that way for me, except when I was younger. The original Resident Evil One and Two scared the absolute. Balls out of me. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So this little girl just fucked me. That sounds awful. Okay, cool. What a cute little gun! Is it because I'm a girl? <laughs> Is that why they gave me this adorable little pea shooter? How sweet of them! <laughs> but yeah, so the original Resident Evil game. That, number one and two. When I first played them, I had never played anything like it before. So like, I didn't play Silent Hill. I think Resident Evil might be like my first true horror game that I played. Uh. Oh. Ouch. Well, let's just run in there. Great. Feels good. All right. Yeah, so that was like my first like real horror experience. Uh, and of course, like as time goes on, I played more and more and more. So now, like, I don't really get. It's hard for me to like get like really like <laughs> about games anymore. Mostly because I you know run a horror channel on YouTube and I played horror games almost literally every day. Nope. Goodbye. I, I just need ammo. I need I need something. Uh, dear Janet, how's it going? Damn it, Janet. I love you. Uh, I guess half a year or so will, uh, will have passed by the time you get this letter. Life is so boring here. Day after day. Just the same old C. Okay. <laughs> Although there is uh, one thing that's different. This time we have a we have some passengers sailing with us, which hardly ever happens. <clears throat> uh, it's a couple with a little girl. I think they're distant relatives of the captain. Imagine traveling on a tanker instead of a passenger ship. They must be hard up. I tried talking to the little girl earlier, but the dad uh, shot me uh, this nasty look. What's he so worried about? Now that I think about it, the captain said he didn't even have any relatives. Maybe I'm overthinking this. I miss you. Love, Jim. Well, Jim. Okay. Amazon River Cruise Guide, uh, Beauty in the Black Lagoon. Ooh, there we go. Now I can fight back. Because I'm sure these are all going to be, like, super tough. And take, like, all my ammo. All right, I'm gonna do something stupid. Something real dumb. Oh, it's actually kind of worth it. If I can find a chem fluid, then I can make ten rounds. That's that's kind of worth it. I actually think I have a chem fluid. No, I used it to make a healing thing. Okay. Alright. 
And I just got a healing thing. So I wish I would have saved it. Fuck. Uh, it's too late for us, but at least I can let the world know what happened here. I was on night shift yesterday. I was taking a nap in the bunk room around noon. I was half asleep when I heard a kid, a little girl, laughing. Or was it all in my head? I woke up at 19.30. There was some uh, sort of ruckus in the passageway. Uh, Drew, one of our engineers, came in and said, There's something wrong down below. Maybe a riot. He looked pale in the face. Uh, he told me he was going to, he was going down to check it out. He never came back. It must have been around 1950 when I heard the scream. I went to the laundry room to check and saw Clark being eaten by some sort of blackish monster. The monster turned and started coming towards me. Huge, shark-like teeth. Uh, it's snapping from its jaws. I just screamed like a little girl and ran from it. Oh, this is Giovanni. Uh, now I'm huddled up in the bunk room, shaking as I write this. There's a whole host of uh, those creatures lurking in the passageways. I can still hear screams now and then. And there's no way I'm going to get out of there now. And that's it. I've written everything I know. Alright, so I got a psycho thing. I'm gonna go and pop that. In case I missed something, which apparently I did. Oh, that's in the other room. Yeah, I can't open that yet. Alright. Swoosh. Oh. These guys aren't that bad. Well, they're gonna, like, instantly murderize me. I want the houses harder. What did I pick up? Machine gun ammo. That's exciting. Alright, uh, so I got a fuse. I know that the door back there takes a fuse. Alright, I think I'm good. Oh. Okay. <laughs> nope. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I keep seeing those things and I want I want them. I want to go to there. There's something above me. Oh fuck. Oh shit. That fucked me up real bad. This is bad. Ooh, this sucks. Ooh, this sucks. This is bad. Excuse me. Stumbling all around, stumbling all around. I don't know why, I need to stop singing that whenever I get nervous. I'm sure that's fucking annoying. Alright, so I gotta go pop that fuse in. Hopefully, he followed me a little bit. Okay. Open, open, open. Fuck this shit, fuck this shit. Okay. <laughs> uh, I need chem fluid. Walk to the other side, alright. I already hear some monsters. Freaky ship sounds like that. Scare the the booty out of me. Watch it. 
What? Why? You need to remember, so we can be a family. You're a butthole. Fine. Dick. Watch it! So fucking snappy. I got an achievement. Be, uh, be kind, please rewind. And assume that means I got all the... whatever. Test subject e -E -Z E001. Uh, yeah, Alan, top secret. You're getting worse. She must have infected me during the attack. And I'm too far gone anyway. But it serves me right. It's my fault she got out. Yeah, it is your fault. But that doesn't mean I'm gonna let you die. She didn't attack you? It's part of her imprinting protocol. I can't believe this is happening. Here, take it. It has her tissue samples. That's in my pocket. You find her. You fix this. Okay, Evie, where are you? Huh. Take that. Ooh, and I have this. And I have a nice knife. Sweet box. <laughs> Alright. Ooh, now this is a knife. <laughs> Boop. Uh, Special Operations Division. Director Alan Droney and caretaker Mia Winters. Uh, recent, re recent reports suggest that Evelyn remains at her current location. She is at high risk of being uh, stolen by opposing organizations. Your orders, therefore, are to transfer Evelyn to our Central America branch uh, for safekeeping until further notice. During transfer, be sure to adhere to the following protocols. Act as parental guardians for Evelyn at all times to avoid suspicion. Manage Evelyn's vitals via the genome codex provided. If the mission is compromised beyond reconciliation, dispose of Evelyn. That's a nice looking gun. Alright, buddy. Have fun. Have fun dying. She's close. Ooh. That's kind of cool. I wish my head wasn't in the way. Alright, I'm getting farther away, but that's fine. I want to look around a little bit. Herb. Hey. Where you at, you little shit? I'm going to fuck you up. I'm going to give you a bop bop. I mean, obviously I'm not, because she's still alive, but whatever. Got some supplements. So what if I can put this stuff in the lockbox and then pick it up later? No. Climb up? Okay. I don't know what the point of that was, but that's fun. Oh, come on. <laughs> Can't break that. Uh, there's one more door that I might have missed. In the kitchen, so let's pop in there really quick. Uh, boop. Then boop, walk to the other side. I can't jump that or climb out that way. All right, whatever. Ooh, stop it. Um, let me make one of those. I don't know why. I didn't really need to. I think I've picked everything up. I 
Probably should have made the healing item, but whatever. I'm an idiot. I make bad choices. Recheck the rest of the first floor. I did. No, I did. Like this is this I I checked every room. Uh lock the other side. This was open, right? Lock the other side. Oh, there we go. She's vomiting. Damn, we'll have to reset. How's it going? She's vomiting. Far more in excess of her body mass. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> We're gonna be seeing a lot more of her ugly friends if this keeps up. <laughs> All right, we need to find her and fast. This is getting out of hand. Agreed. Okay, so that's her vomit. Gross. Uh. Oh, hello. I don't like this gun. Don't like that gun. Also, I'm a terrible shot with it. You little shit. I guess I have to wait for the numbers to keep doing their thing. Oh, of course. Motherfucker. There is a ladder right there, but I can't reach that, so let's, just, let's do that. So she's vomiting, eh? I can't get over that. Like, I, I just didn't expect it to be vomit. Maybe she's not, like, actually throwing up. It's just, like, their term for it. I thought it was still coming at me, damn it. Get some of that precious, precious ammo. A lot of herbs. Yeah, I really don't like this gun. I'm just not a fan of like the the SMG style weapons, I guess. Remote bomb. That's fucking cool. So I guess if I have to fight like multiple at once, I can lead them through. Kind of weird how they're just like boxes of machine gun ammo just laying around. Like the pistol and the shotgun at the house, I, I understand. But like, why are these guys, why are there boxes of ammo just laying around? I, I need to remember they have a death animation. Just because they're like wiggling doesn't mean they're alive. Hey, guy. Alright. 
I guess she doesn't give a shit about these people. <laughs> Okay, still can't get in. Okay, come on. Ellen, I think she's on the other side of this door, but I don't have a key. <laughs> Try to melt down the lock. <laughs> You're on the bottom level, right? <laughs> Check our luggage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Blah blah. Okay, so I was just sitting out, not actually in luggage. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> Cute. So I mean, I can lock the stuff up on the top floor. Uh, Mike, cut to me trying to open the lock. Oh, here we go. God damn it. Nice. This is actually worth it. Like, I can, I can go back and get supplies. Um, I'm gonna pop one of these psychos. Make sure I'm not missing nothing. Apparently I already did. Eh. God, I miss- I'm- I'm missing so much. Holy shit. And I'm trying to be thorough, like, I'm trying to, like, really look in every nook and cranny. Yeah, I guess it just shows, like, how well they're hiding stuff. I don't even know what that was. I have so much chem fluid. Go and get rid of that redness on me. I don't like it. Aw. Does that feel like a boo boo? There we go. Yeah, there's one more door that I can open, I think, with the corrosive. And it's good to know that I find any in, uh, when I'm not in VHS world. And I can open those doors. Let's see. I think there's one more on this floor. Hello. It's there we go. Uh, that's locked from the other side. That's locked from the other side. Maybe not. Maybe there wasn't another one on this floor. All right, Mike, come back to where I'm supposed to be. Pp. Oh, I can't really sprint. Where are you, Evie? Oh. Oh, there she is. Hey. <laughs> you little Baby, shit. Wait. Alan? Yes, but she ran off. She's making more friends, Alan. Those things are everywhere. I told you so. <laughs> are you okay? <laughs> Alright, so I guess I'm... Oh! Alright, so that's how that works. That's fun. Grenades are fun. Totally didn't have to go backtrack the way I did, though. I thought it was gonna be like a bonus little, like, ooh. 
you did a thing, but now it's like, it's right there. All right. Damn, this ship is super fucked. All right, I'm, ah, see, that time I got the uh, death animation ready. God, my accuracy is going to be total dog shit right now. Really wish they dropped more stuff. You little butthole. She's reminding me a lot of Alma right now from, uh, uh, Fear. Like, shows up randomly as a small girl with long black hair. Is just generally a pain in the ass. And every oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Every horror game needs an elevator sequence. Ooh. Is this the same floor I was on? Let's see, Alan. Damn it. Oh. Evie's upstairs. Alan? Alan, where the hell are you? Uh, okay, nope. I uh, can't go that way. I like to see Capcom do like a uh, alien game in this style. I know that like, Sega is, has the alien franchise. I really hope they do one someday. Like a pseudo action y. I don't know. I want another alien isolation, basically. It looks like this. Alien isolation looked fine. But this looks fucking amazing and plays super, super well. God damn it. Walk on the other side. Oh, now I can jump over. There's seven of these goddamn bombs. <laughs> oh, see ya. I ain't fucking with that. Back to you. I said Evie's upstairs. I'm out of uh, those, the corrosive fluid. I wonder if I can watch a tape while I'm in the tape world. <laughs> hey, guy. How did you get here? Where's Evie? She's out of control. Without the treatments, she's deteriorating. Well, it's a good thing we're already dying. <laughs> Don't say that. She trusts you. Okay. That little bitch, she never trusts. Okay. Wait. Evie, no, Evie, Evie. Alan, listen. I didn't mean to call you that. She's Evie. trying to take mean, control. Mean, you have to fight her. Oh, you're dead. Uh, 
Ага. У -у 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 -у. What are you? Oh, okay. So now she's infected. And is this is this how the bakers got their powers? I'm assuming it is. Ugh. Oh, that's the laptop that she's going to send the message out on. Oh, yeah, that's from the beginning. Shit. Oh my god. God damn, this game looks fucking great. family. We will never be a family. Then I don't need you anymore. Well, <laughs> oh, shit. Cheap ass little jump scare. I bet that's terrifying in VR, but like for me right now, it's just like, alright. I need to find some like corrosive fluid or something. Uh Contents have been taken. Enotoxin. Destroy any sub... Okay. Must first be... Okay. That laptop's gone. That's a bummer. Oh no, it's still there. It's broken. <laughs> Herb. There we go. Uh, let's go and make some ammo. More machine gun ammo. I hope I find that soon. That's even though I don't like that style of gun, it's still better. Fuck. It's still better than the uh, ooh lockbox. It's still better than the pistol that I'm using. This pistol sucks. Open you. Okay, I don't have any more gunpowder though. There you go. So 
So I need liquid for that door on this floor. I also need a wrench for that that hatch. So I think I'm gonna be here for a while. For some reason I thought I was getting near the end of the game. It seems like I'm gonna be here for a hot minute. That's fine. I mean, like, I'm really enjoying this game. I wonder... Most people beat it in, like, 9 to 12 parts so far, right? That's what I've seen. Maybe it still works. Somehow. Ethan. Hey, buddy. I hope I make it in time. Okay. Bottom level. His wrist thing is still active, so he's still... <laughs> Liar! Stop it, Evelyn! <sighs> oh, fucking hallucinations. Where is she? That's a pretty strong hallucination if she can, like, actually grab you and leave marks. That reminds me of the ring. Hey, there we go. Combine to make you. Uh, let's go over here first. Any more of those psychos? I don't. I think that was in the other world that I had extra. Ah, oh, and I want some more of those remote bombs too. cabin. Oh no, I, oh, I need it. I need it. <laughs> Ship map. Lug wrench, nice. That's what I was looking for. Oh, I need it. Ah, I need it. <laughs> That's exciting. All right, so I gotta find that because that looks rad as fuck. He's burning this stupid pistol. Here we go, here's a remote bomb. Oh, hey. Why is that there? <laughs> what? I haven't been looking for those since I left the house. Interesting. I, I, I'm actually kind of amused that that's there. Uh, wait. Came up from back here, right? Uh, nothing over there. Maybe I didn't. I'm probably just running in circles now. There we go. Oi. Oh, surprised that actually didn't, like, break your legs. Spanny, spanny. Come on. Uh, Lewis, the cable is completely fried. We had a replacement... Uh... <laughs> Uh, we had to use it to fix uh, something in 3F sick bay. We're gonna have to go ask Dr. Waddle for it. Or Waddell, I guess, not Waddle. Uh, I need it down in number two engine room, but I can't get down there unless this thing is working. Dwayne. Damn it. I said climb up. I said climb up. I want to go back up, please. Maybe I did click climb down. Maybe I'm just really dumb. F is climb up. There we go. Rawr. Rawr. <laughs> nope. Yep, there's a special operations thing. Ooh, corrosive fluids. Good. 
My defense coin, amazing. And I'm gonna save, and then we will finish up this segment in the next episode. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.